Greyhound racing uh, in the week that was. First up at Olympic Park on Monday night. Let's have a look at the first leg of the double. Racing. And away smartly there was Bonnie Blue in the centre driving for the leader. Wide out busy Sam showing pace to Angara Lady the centre and getting up on the inside as Highline. Out of the straight and Highline got through on the inside to join Bonnie Blue. Two lengths away then came Karobi Sun done well. Tangara Lady next about three further back King of Diamonds. Second last Slender Miss and busy Sam at the tail. Off the back Highline just in front of Bonnie Blue. Coming up on the outside as done well and Karobi Sun getting up on the inside but done well. Swept to the front from Karobi Sun and done well. Two lengths, Karobi Sun, a half body blue. Racing now the, the second leg of the double. Fast on the inside. Slow to begin, better be sharp. And Missian driving for the lead is Count Sachs on the outside. Count Sachs and Anne Propulsion, they speed into the first bend. Moving up on the outside, secret agent from Suzanne Gwenda. Roval's cheer trapped out a little bit wide, about four lengths away. Wax Lady, they were followed by better be sharp. And tailed off now is Missy, they run to the back now. And Count Sachs and strode clear in front, about three clear. Propulsion running second, Suzanne Gwenda running on. Three lengths, Roval's cheer, secret agent the inside. Four or five, Wax Lady, better be sharp and missy. Up the back now and Count Saxon being grabbed by Suzanne Gwenda. Propulsion the inside and secret agent running on with Roval's cheer but Suzanne Gwenda race clear of propulsion and Suzanne Gwenda fought to propulsion. Three lengths away, third secret agent. The double at Olympic Park for a pair of twos paid $9.20. We have no tape from Sandown this week where the double paid three and seven, or four, three and seven, paid $16.70. Let's have a look now at the first leg of the double at the Geelong meeting. Racing, Currency Lass away fairly on the inside, Winter Prince away smartly. Currency Lass going through on the inside to join Winter Prince. Then Swift Fox followed by Rambo, Calandra the outside. Further back, Pancho Craw, tied off Jerry Gun. Currency Lass the leader, two lengths in front. Getting up on the inside, Rambo from Winter Prince. They were followed by Calandra, two or three lengths away. Swift Fox and Pancho Craw. Currency Lass wide in front. Oh, she's too good, Currency Lass. She comes away to win by three lengths. Calandra second, Swift Fox in the centre. Got up to run third. Now the second Sealers lead. Cove began OK. Away smartly there was Clementine. Going quickly to his top shirt on the outside. And Blue Coo quickly went to third on the inside. And tried to work up on the inside off the back. Followed by Buck and Haven. Two or three lengths away then came no telling. Sealers Cove out to the rear with Comedy Prince. But Blue Coo got through on the inside. And looked to be travelling well off the back. Clear of top shirt. And they were followed further back by Buck and Haven. Running on strongly out wide. But Blue Coo wins by four lengths. Buck and Haven. Third top shirt. And then Sealers Cove from the tail. The substitutes won the legs of the double at Geelong. One and two paid one dollars, uh, one dollar and eighty-five cents. The uh, fourth meeting is at Cranbourne. Here's the first leg. But either racing, Dunmarlo's image fairly away, beginning smartly. Highway to glory, Dunmarlo's image, the inside, Motorola third. In the run around the first turn, and Motorola was trapped wide from Shans Monarch and severely checked on the first turn. Mystery of mine, Shans Monarch, Dunmarlo's image got away five in front down the back from Spartan Chief. It's right off the track, the leader, then Motorola getting to third. Further back, Creamy Coco, followed by Shadow Melody. Then came Highway to glory, Mystery of mine, but Dunmarlo's image has it pass it up six in front of Motorola and Dun Marlow's image, five to Motorola. About four lengths away, third is Creamy Coco. They're and racing. a favourite wins the second leg. Fast on the inside, Gypsy Blue away smartly too. Lani the inside and Gypsy Blue into the first turn in front. Check to the outside, were both Nova Start and Gara Lady. Down the back and Lani a race clear though, got out five in front. Riding up Clayton Flash the inside from Gypsy Blue. Then Nova Star about three or four lengths away. Miriam Tungara Lady followed by Yamara Wano and Gary Shout at the rear but Lani is showing them a clean pair of paws into the straight. Five lengths in front of Clayton Flash and Lani are a brilliant winner by four lengths. Second Clayton Flash, Nova Star, five away, third. It was a repeat of the Geelong numbers there, one and two also at Cranbourne, both were subs, the dividend $2.65. That was Greyhound Racing uh, for this week. We'll take a break and then back to have a look at Harness Racing from Mooney Valley last night. If you're in trouble...